EU foreign ministers are considering rolling out a fresh package of sanctions against Russia over the crisis in Ukraine, but they are not united on the issue. On the eve of the meeting, the German economy minister warned that new economic restrictions against Moscow would only inflame an already delicate situation. While the bloc's new foreign policy chief said that the possibility of bringing in more sanctions is always on the table. As artist Peter Oliver reports, now a final decision will be hard to reach. As EU foreign ministers meet in Brussels on Monday, there is division within the union. Um, what we are seeing is them split pretty much right down the middle when it comes to whether or not to impose further sanctions on Russia. And actually, when you look at it, and you look at particularly the economic and the political powerhouse of Europe in, here in Germany, well, they're also divided as well. We heard from German Chancellor Angela Merkel speaking in Australia at the G20. She said further sanctions, perhaps more names being added to the blacklist, were on the cards. However, the economic minister and the vice chancellor here in Germany, uh, Sigmar Gabriel, he said, well, any further sanctions against Russia, that could be, that could be to the detriment of, uh, of Germany, in fact. Tit for tat sanctions are already taking a bite out of the European economy. Moscow's food boycott is hitting the agriculture, farming and fishing industries of many EU nations, including its debt burden south. At this time, it's expected the bloc is not opting for economic restrictions on Moscow, but rather will expand the blacklist of visa bans and asset freezes. Now, to get more on this story, let's bring in Marcus Pretzel, German MEP from the Alternative for Germany party. Marcus, thanks so much for coming on to speak to us. And in fact, you were the, uh, you were the only member of your party to vote against sanctions on Russia. Why was that your decision? Well, I was the only member of my group, in fact, of the entire group, not only from my party. Um, it was not only about the sanctions, um, but uh, more also the uh, resolution was very one-sided. It blamed only Russia for all the problems in the Ukrainian conflict. And I believe that there are more people to blame in the conflict. Uh, the Western states, the European states, the US, the Ukrainian government himself, they have done many faults as well. Um, and so has Russia, of course. Um, but there is no such thing as a good guy in the game. So I believe it's wrong to, to look at it um, in a one-sided way. And that was my key concern about uh, the resolution. It appears that there's a lack of harmony when it comes to deciding what to do next um, with regards to sanctions and Russia. What do you expect Germany to do? Um, well, I, I hope um, that the German government will have a strong position um, um, because I, I, I don't believe it is in, in German interest to have uh, to put more sanctions on Russia uh, because as a, an exporting um, state Germany is has very good um, economic relations with Russia um, we get a lot of gas and oil from Russia and um, we export machinery and cars to Russia so it's in German vital interest to have good economic and political relations with Russia. And I hope very much that we won't have more sanctions uh, put on Russia. And I hope that we'll end those sanctions that had been put on Russia uh, before. Yeah, what you just said, it, it kind of echoes what Vladimir Putin had to say, which was, in his opinion, there's around 300,000 jobs in Germany that depend on trade uh, with Russia. If things were to escalate, I know you don't want that to happen, but if they were to, how serious a consequence could there be for German industry? Well, we have, we've seen 15% um, uh, less exports from Germany to Russia already in 2014 compared to 2013. So it has had an impact on German economy. Um, not too bad, of course, um, but um, still it, it doesn't make much sense. You know, we have, uh, we have seen many um, many um, sanctions in history. We've seen sanctions on Iran, on Iraq, on North Korea, South Africa, Cuba, uh, and many other states, and they have not, never done anything good. So, um, political, they are useless, and they do harm to economy in both ways, to Russia, to Europe, so there is no reason to put more sanctions on Russia and the other way around. 
Marcus, thanks so much for coming on to speak to us. Uh, we're hearing the thoughts of Marcus Pretzel, German MEP from the Alternative for Germany party.